my name is Tara Moss. Today I'm here to speak with you about the many aspects and effects of left-handedness, right-handedness, and being ambidextrous, which is using both hands. In the past, during the 18th and 19th centuries, many people were discriminated upon for being left-handed. Right-handedness was a dominant trait, also dominant in the community. They felt that left-handed people were inferior to them, so they would help them along to be right-handed. Many times they were shunned from the community, they never got married, never reproduced, and never, I'm sorry, and was beaten out of them. Before the year of 1910, less than 3% of people were left-handed. This was because of the brutal punishment that was endured because of being left-handed. One out of 10 people in today's society are left-handed. They make up 15% of the population. The rest, being nine out of 10 people, are right-handed. Therefore, it is a more dominant trait. Left-handedness and right-handedness, or even being ambidextrous, is based on the strength of brain hemispheres. Right-handed people use the left side of their brain more, which deals with memory and emotions. Left-handed people use the right side of their brain and is more used for logical thinking and reasoning. Ambidextrous people use both sides or both hemispheres of their brains and they get a little bit of both left-handedness and right-handedness. There are many disorders that come along with being left-handed, right-handed, and ambidextrous due to the strength of the brain hemispheres. Right-handed people um, have less logical thinking because the logical thinking comes from the right side of your brain and they use the left. Left-handed people offer suf suffer from dyslexia, stuttering, and child autism. These are all communication disabilities. This is also a <coughs> tendency of <coughs> the left hemisphere. It is weaker in a left-handed person than a right-handed person. Ambidextrous people use both hemispheres of their brains, which also causes them to be unorganized and more forgetful because they are so unorganized. Although there are disorders, there are many advantages or advancements to being left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous. Left-handed people excel in math, sports, and art. All these are logical thinking skills. Right-handed people excel in memory and emotional strategies and tend to be more emotional people. And ambidextrous people have tendencies and skills from both left-handed and right-handed people. Being left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous has the advantages and disadvantages that everything does. Society today is more accepting of this uniqueness and these qualities tend to help people along later in life just because of what they make of it. This in today's society is known as individualism. Everybody wants to be their own individual and they tend to just go with it whereas in the 18th and 19th century, people change this about themselves. I hope that all of you will continue to be your own individual and not judge people for what traits or uniquenesses are different from your own. Thank you.